Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Trainer Seduction here. And first of all, I'd like to personally thank everybody uh, for all the birthday wishes, not only to me, but for my girlfriend. Uh, we both appreciate it as mine was yesterday and hers was today. Now, the reason I'm making this video is for the Biggie Train Show. For those who ask me a bunch of questions via Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Skype, Uvu, Kick. Uh, Google Plus and YouTube as well. Uh, so I'm going to answer the top five questions I believe are the most important for those who want to go or those who are interested or those who need to know a little more information than they uh, think it would be. So first, uh, the biggest question is what's the big train show? Easy. It's a huge train show, uh, probably the world's largest, that takes place up in uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. And it's about four, uh, there's about four buildings, all the if you've been to Dallas Expo uh, down Chantilly, uh, Virginia, then imagine that and multiply it by three more buildings, and that's how big the, the train show is. And there's a bunch of model trains as well, uh, as well as uh, old antique cars that they show, uh, model airplanes, old Barbie dolls, test trucks, you name it. They got it all pretty much. But the reason why they call it the BB train shows is because it's more of model trains and rare accessories than any other model. Uh, for the enthusiasts, so more rare enthusiasts come to see the the uh, the train show than anybody else. So that's why they call it the the train show, the Biggie Train Show, so the Biggie Model Enthusiast Show, anything like that. So that's why it's called train show. Now going to question number two that I've gotten recently is, uh, what are the dates for the Biggie Train Show? Uh, every year the Biggie Train Show up in Springfield, Massachusetts. Uh, Host their events uh, the last weekend of January of each year. So this year is January 28th and 29th. If you're going to travel, I recommend you come the day before in case there's any travel delays, anything like that. Same leaving, you know, you gotta leave on a Sunday or go on a Saturday. Uh, especially that's my recommendation because that's what I'm doing. Now number three is what, what are things to do around the making train show around Springfield or anything to do in Massachusetts really well. There's Boston, um, which is a really good place to visit, especially if you're a tourist or if you're uh, new to Massachusetts at all. Which I'm not from Massachusetts, I'm from Washington, D.C. So I would go check that out, go check the city. And um, ride trains, there's the MBTA, there's the, uh, um, there's the T Transits, which is like the metros up there. There's Amtrak, so you can take the Down Easter, you can take uh, Lake Shore Limited, you can take the Sella Northeast Regional. Um, you can take the shuttle from New Haven, Connecticut, go up to Springfield, Massachusetts, which goes into question number four. Uh, what's the best place? Oh, well, let's go back to number three for a second. I left out a huge thing. This place, it's, I believe it's off of Interstate 90, the Massachusetts Turnpike, uh, called Palmer, Massachusetts. And there's a really good restaurant there called the Steaming Tender. It sits between two railroad lines, the New England Central Railroad and CSX. And behind the Steaming Tender, they cross. So it's a really good rail fanning spot, uh, really great food at the Steaming Tender. You know, most of the rail fans go there. Um, after the Biggie Train Show, mostly on the, on the first day, which is Saturday, so that's what I'm going to do as well. So if you want to look for me around the uh, Biggie Train Show, we'll be wearing this hat, we'll wear like a blue jacket, maybe a CSX jacket. And so um, come check me out, you know, say hey, you know, and uh, we start a conversation or anything like that. And um, yeah, it's really fun when you get together with the whole railroad community. It's just having a blast. And so, yeah, don't be uh, afraid to come up to me and say, hey, I, I know you, or hey, how you doing? I feel like that. So, now we go into question four. Uh, what's the best transportation to get to the Navy train show? Well, for me, I'm flying, I'm taking Southwest Airlines, uh, because it's really cheap, and um, it's, it's less of a hassle, and the cruise is more fun to hang around with us that have going on board. A uh, boring Delta flight that goes, um, from, for example, Atlanta, then I go to Detroit, then I gotta go to Chicago, then I gotta go to JFK, then I gotta go back to Chicago, and then I gotta go back to, uh, um, you go to Boston, and then you go to Hartford, eventually. 
I'm, I'm over exaggerating it. Uh, yeah, Southwest, uh, you don't really need to do that. Just go out of EWI if you're like from Virginia, West, like anywhere nearby that you can uh, drive distance to BWI or Reagan or Dallas. Um, but yeah, the recommended uh, airline I, uh, that you should take is Southwest Airlines because they're very cheap and they're very easy. Uh, once you get with anybody, pretty much, to get you to your destination. And they're mainly on time. The only time they're delayed is if, if, if it's a real cause, like bad weather or fuel issues, anything like that. So, yeah, take that. Or if you're a big train guy and really want to train, take Amtrak. Um, if you want to go directly into Springfield, then you should take the Amtrak Northeast Regional slash Mountain slash Shuttle. Uh, the shuttle runs from New Haven, Connecticut to Springfield only. And then the Vermont runs all the way from Washington DC to like way north of Vermont. And then you can take the Cell Express Good Haven, transfer on the shuttle, or anything like that. Or you can take Northeast Regional uh, slash the shuttle, which you can take Northeast Regional from like Newport News to uh, New Haven, and then it stays and goes to Springfield. Or unless you want to go to Boston, you take your cell or Northeast Regional and go directly to Boston. And if you come from Chicago or anywhere else like that, then you should take the uh, Lakeshore Limited into Springfield or Boston, and then you can drive. It's only maybe uh, a two-hour drive um, from Boston to Springfield, Massachusetts. Or if you're flying in, flying to uh, either Boston, Logan, or, or Hartford, Connecticut, or Bradley International Airport, which I'm doing, um, stay in Connecticut, and... Um, yeah, that, that's the, the top questions. Um, but yeah, the Biggie Train Show is a really great time for me. It's a really uh, great time for everybody. And um, it's just another way to get the community together and just say, hey, we're river enthusiasts. We love this. And we're going to embrace it. And we do it together. And it, it's amazing what we can um, accomplish together. It's amazing, you know, meeting new people that you've never met before. That turn out to be, you know, really cool. If you're one of those socially awkward people, guess what? There's a lot of rail fenders out there who are socially awkward as well. Um, I'm kind of like that. I don't like going to people who go, hey, that's what I'm saying, guys. Come up to me. So that way, you know, no one's nervous or anything like that. So, yeah, remember, I'll be wearing this uh, hat. Just remember my face. If you need a screenshot, go ahead. There you go. Okay, mission accomplished. You can screenshot my face. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that's it. And uh, so my plan is, if you want to copy my plan, I'm going from BWI to Bradley. If you need to rent a car, oh, that reminds me, uh, Avis Rentals um, is a good recommendation uh, for car renting. Uh, I don't think Springfield, Massachusetts has any car rentings. If you know any, they're probably like Enterprise. Maybe Avis is up there. Hertz is up there, I know that, so Enterprise and Hertz is up there. Uh, but if you want a good company like Avis Rental Cars or anything like that, uh, definitely go by the airports, go by the train stations. Uh, I don't think Avis is open at 7 o'clock or past 7 o'clock p.m. on Friday if you're taking my advice and going the day before the train show if you're taking via Amtrak. Uh, do not quote me on that. You can look it up, but it's just a recommendation. It's what I heard. So, but yeah, my recommendation is to fly because if you need to rent a car, or anything like that, and you just want to get there faster, um, which which is perfect. Uh, take Southwest Airlines if you need to take a train up the only way is Amtrak, uh, pretty much. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the video. And those of you who are driving, good luck. Honestly, good luck. If I decide to drive all the way from DC to New Haven, Connecticut. And then go up to Massachusetts on via 95 and 91. You're screwed because of Friday night traffic. Anything like that. So it's going to take us about three hours to get to the airport. My flight leaves at like 8 o'clock, like 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the evening. And so we have to leave our, my house at around like 3 o'clock to get there. In case traffic is like three hours. So it'll be 3, 4, five, 6 o'clock. We have dinner and then jump on our plane and then go pretty much so yeah guys uh that's the uh questionnaires in my house uh any other questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments i'll leave all the information i just said in the description down below in case you are deaf or if i can't speak very well and you're tired of hearing me uh stumble a lot with my um regular different places and my voice just going all over the place pretty much so 
Yeah, links will be in the description down below. The description will be in the description down below. Yes, I did mean to say that. And so I can't wait to see it right there. Remember this train inspection, aka Richard Ogle. Uh, just remember me, remember the hat. And I'll say, hey, how you doing? Till then, train introduction. See ya. Ooh, I don't wanna